A letter to my younger self. Challenge accepted. Dear 14-year-old Chang, if I can impart one thing to you and one thing only, I would like to tell you to not sweat the small stuff. That is honestly the best advice I could possibly give you. Do not sweat the small stuff. My life now, which is a lot easier life, <laughs> and it never was when I was 14, when I was you, and that is mostly due to the fact that I do not sweat the small stuff. That is a rule for me, it is an absolute rule for me. And of course, the ever important saying, there's nothing now, nor has there ever been, nor will there ever be anything that is really that serious. Not that you shouldn't be serious about things, you should absolutely be serious about things that really matter to you. But it's like those cliches that everybody's always saying. Don't sweat the small stuff, don't cry over spilled milk, pick your battles. The things that are important are worth fighting for. The things that are important are worth getting stressed out over. The things that are important are worth putting your all into and getting so stressed out at night that you can't sleep. But the randomness of people, the choices that other people make, and the bad ways that other people may treat you in the future have nothing to do with you. So don't sweat it. You'll have a lot of amazing opportunities coming in the future and if you don't stress out over the small stuff, you'll actually be able to enjoy them. It's really the only thing I can say. Well, that and uh, in the future you start swearing. It's not a good thing. It's a really hard habit to break, so don't start it. So when it starts in acting school, try to keep it in acting school and don't let it spell out the rest of your life. Because if you do it then, I guess it's sort of like a Doctor Who thing. I guess I'll start, stop immediately, but then I never would have made the video. Does it make sense? I don't know how this works. So, don't swear. It's a really hard habit to break, as I am learning currently. And don't be Michael Jackson. Don't base your opinion of yourself on what everybody else thinks. He's dead now because of that. Believe me, that was stressful for both of us. Love yourself for who you are today, tomorrow, and always. And I guarantee you, your high school years will be a lot better. Because I figured this out somewhere in the middle of junior year, but it would have been a lot better if I walked into high school with it, which is why I'm giving it to you. In conclusion, don't sweat the small stuff. Love yourself for who you are. And don't swear. If you follow that, I can guarantee you a really great life. Sincerely, 27-year-old you. Thank you so much for watching my letter to me. If you would also like to take this challenge and write a letter to younger you, it doesn't have to be 14-year-old you entering high school. It can literally be like whenever. It can be you from yesterday. <laughs> Just whatever time you pick that you would like to speak to a younger version of yourself, make a video, make it a video response to one of the videos from this week and we'll post it up on Saturday. Please remember to like, favorite, and subscribe and I cannot wait to see what Gretchen's letter is tomorrow. I absolutely love you guys. You guys rock out loud and I will see you next Wednesday.